Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Well, this morning's flavor is chocolate raspberry hot cocoa with some Italian sweet cream and this beautiful flower. I just can't stop looking at it. It's so gorgeous. I think that's one of the most beautiful flowers I've ever seen. I'm going to try and root it just because I think you can. I don't know, it depends on the kind of peony from what I was reading. But what the heck, once the flower fades, I'll try and root the cutting. So today is going to be 72 and sunny. It should be a lovely day to work in the garden. I still have a few plants to um, flowers to put in and then I need to soak my seeds overnight and plant them the next morning but I'm not going to do that until all the flowers are planted so I have to work on a different section of the garden today um, I sort of have it in sections one section where the dogs have access and I know what kind of flowers they, they'll eat and they won't eat. They don't seem to like begonias and impatience. But boy, if I put zinnias and marigolds there, they chomp them right up. So um, I've learned over the years what they will and will not eat. And I've made their area easy to clean up, if you know what I mean about cleaning up. So let's see how this coffee turned out. I've had these mugs for a long time. I have four of them. And somehow I like green and orange together. I like this green and a, and a coastal blue together too. It's very pretty. I'm going to have my shutters painted since one blew off. And um, my house is sort of a cream color. So I'm going to uh, paint the shutters a coastal blue. I have a pot from the Dollar Tree that I'm going to take with me to Home Depot or wherever I decide to get the paint and have them um, mix up that color. And then I think I might spray paint my hanging baskets this lime green color. I think that'll be nice. And I'm thinking about painting my front door the coastal blue, too. So, cheers. Yes, that is very good. And I know there's more calories in there by adding this chocolate raspberry. And I just put this jar together myself. Um... This is very, very tasty. <clears throat> I went, last time I went shopping, I went and bought an extra one because, especially at Mark's, you never know when something's going to disappear. So I hope you guys are starting off a nice, fun Memorial Day weekend and saying a prayer for our soldiers that have fallen and our soldiers that have served. Um, and I thank all the vet veterans out there for their service. So, okay, time to go to the budget book. And uh, like I said, I don't think I need anything else that I need to purchase for the garden. You never know, I might find a great deal somewhere, but I don't need any more garden tchotchkes or anything like that. Over the years, as, as they've rusted out or gotten damaged, I've thrown them out. And um, I really don't want a whole lot of that kind of stuff going on. I do have a couple fountains that I have to work on that stopped working. Um... I think I might need to buy a new pump at some point, but I haven't gotten that far yet. That I'll need to work on 
after I get all my flowers planted, I'm going to work on my deck. So here you are. Enjoy the beautiful flower along with me. I just love this flower. I wish I had a whole yard full of them. I wish there was some way to preserve this. But I'll just enjoy it in a film and in the photograph. But honestly, the film does not do this uh, flower justice. It's just so gorgeous. All right, I'll meet you at the budget book in a few. Okay, back at my budget book. So yesterday I did not spend any money. So I'm on a roll here. I'm just too busy doing things with the things I spent money on. So at least I'm using what I bought. I did buy lots and lots of flowers. I think I ended up buying, I can't recall if it was four or five flats. And the flats came to like $13 and something a piece, which was pretty good considering how expensive things are, even at Home Depot and Lowe's, even at the nurseries. They've gone like crazy. I did buy two um, elephant ears. They're fancy elephant ears. And I did buy a pack of elephant ears at Walmart a few months ago. Well, maybe a couple months ago, a month ago. I should have already put those in the ground. But I haven't done that. I need to do that today and get them outside and growing. Um, but the ones I bought are fancy. I bought a mojito and a different one. And um, I think I paid 20 some dollars a piece for those, but I want to keep those as house plants at the end of the season. I'll stick them in a nice pot and bring them in the house. Not that I don't have enough house plants, because I certainly do, but I just love plants. I love to grow things. It's very satisfying to me. So I, I don't know how much I've spent on my garden. It's not as much as I usually spend because um, I'm, I'm trying to experiment with things that I will actually eat instead of just planting everything under the sun. Um, so I am trying to rein it in and make it easy for future me. This has been a very brutal gardening year with moving everything around and trial and error and as far as um, my little pots and garden boxes and I mean I know some people might say oh what's the big deal you're moving some pots around but for me since I can't lift heavy things um, it, it was a chore I had to empty all the pots all the all the city pickers move them and then put the dirt back in and then refreshing the dirt and some of the dirt was pretty compacted so I had to add some uh, uh, perlite and vermiculite and all kinds of amendments to the soil so so far it's working out pretty well um, I got my uh, things in a little late the winter sowing worked wonderful I'll be doing that again and I'll be winter sowing. I'm not winter sowing in January or February. Um, I'll start those maybe the last week of February, the first week of March. Um, but I think I'll plant them out sooner when they're still smaller because um, I had to prepare everything first. So next year it should be a lot easier. And I'm hoping that my plan to make things easier in my garden is going to work out. You never know. You know, in your head you have a plan and you think, oh yeah, that's going to be great. And then when you actually start working the plan, it's like, uh, well, <laughs> it didn't work out the way I wanted it to. That happens a lot in life, I think. 
So anyway, uh, five days of no spend, yay me. Um, I did not get the, um, the back stretcher or the neck stretcher yet, but that is on my list. I definitely want to get those two things, and they're not that expensive. I think the two of them together will run me, oh, a little over $50.00. So I have them in my cart on Amazon. I'm not going to lie. They're sitting there. and uh, But I think that's something that will really help me because by the end of the day, I need that. So, okay, I'll take you out in the garden with me. A um, few of you have said you enjoy looking at the flowers. So um, I will take you with me. And then... I've had this, you know, you guys know I have a lot of GI issues. So I've had this slippery elm bark for a long time. There's just a teeny tiny bit left in there. And it coats the stomach. It's supposed to be good for reflux. But check with your doctor before you do anything that I say I do. So I've been putting it the last couple days, I've been putting it in my coffee. So you really can't taste it. It doesn't have any taste, but a quarter teaspoon is the dosage. And I'm going to try that and see, along with the uh, Smooth and Gentle Folgers coffee, I'm going to see if maybe that'll help my GI issues too. Right now, it's not bad at all. You know, I went through that period where I took medication and because uh, I think I was, you know, dancing around with an ulcer. I do have that history. And I completed the medication and that seemed to clear it up. So it's a chronic thing. You know, I call the doctor. Hey, I'm having issues. He gives me a prescription and I take it and Bob's your uncle. So anyway, um I just wanted to share that. I've taken the Slippery Elm in the past, and it did seem to help. But sometimes you get sidetracked, and then you forget, and before you know it, you stop doing it. So that's what I'm trying. I'm trying it in my coffee. But like I said, don't follow my advice. Talk to your doctor. See what they say. And um, just a little disclaimer there. Okay, um... I'll meet you back in the garden in a little bit, and I'll show you what I planted yesterday. Okay, this morning before I head out into the garden, I want to show you what I have growing in my indoor garden. So I've been um, planting, I got some blood oranges in a flash food um, box, so I always save the seeds. They don't have many seeds, but... So I've got these three blood oranges growing. I had one before, but all of a sudden it died. So this is a hydroponic. It's got a growing medium in it and uh, the little grow light. I got the grow light on Amazon, oh, probably a couple years ago. So I have three of them and uh, I've been growing this, I put a pepper seed in here. I don't even remember what kind of color the pepper is. I imagine it's probably red. Uh, and it's already starting to get little pepper buds. So this needs to go out in the garden. I It was in there for months and it didn't do anything. And then all of a sudden it started to grow. And so I hope I don't kill it by transplanting it. And then... Um, over here, I have my little grapefruit tree. That's been growing in there for a, quite a while. And I started that. It was a red grapefruit. So, but that I'm going to leave in there until it gets bigger. Um, but it's very healthy. And I just add a few drops of liquid fertilizer every now and then. So this is another blood orange, and then here I just sprinkled some ground cherry seeds in here, and this one's taking, I have no idea what this is, looks like a weed, but I don't know. Or it could be, let's see, a stevia plant, 
but I don't think it's a stevia plant. It's just kind of, I've seen these plants before outside, so I don't know. Don't know what it is. But anyway, um, so if you're an indoor gardener, these pots I bought separately, they come together. They come in orange and green and brown. And uh, they're not expensive. I got them on Amazon a couple years ago. And they're self-watering. So they have the little container that uh, you just keep water in there. And they have wicks. Same with that one. And then the grow lights, they two of them just happen to fit perfectly on the grow lights. And these were like $20 on Amazon. And you can raise and lower them. So it's a good way to start seeds indoors, and I haven't had any problems with it so far. So here I have the other two, but there's nothing growing in them. I just have gnomes guarding them. So um, that's the green and the brown, so you can see how nicely they fit on these little trays. So I will this winter start growing maybe some lettuce or something in here, and these are in my living room. This is a gnome my daughter got me for Christmas a couple years ago, and I just love him. So anyway, um, I just wanted to show you those, and if you want an inexpensive growing system, um, I, I like it. I think it's been doing a great job. So there you go. Well, my deck is still a mess, but it's getting better. My fuchsia really has a lot of blooms on it. But I need to get this going. But I'm not going to do that now. This is going to be one of the last projects that I do, but I did want to show you <laughs> Oops, my lettuce. Oh my goodness, I need to put this in a bigger pot, and this was all winter sown. I had kale on the other side, I already planted that, so I need to put that in a different pot, and I'm going to keep that on the deck. And this is one of my mints. It's called, oh, what is it? Uh, well, no, that's a nasturtium thing. That's not right. Let's see, what is it? It is mint candy. So I see somebody's been digging in here. But I need to harvest some of this and dry it so it gets bushier because it's pretty leggy right now. So let's take a look and see what I planted yesterday. Still lots to do. Always lots to do when you have a garden, but I like to keep busy. I'm not ready for the rocking chair yet, even though sometimes my body tells me, yes you are. So I got these begonias planted yesterday, and I just mixed the dark leaves and the light green leaves, so those will fill in. And then what I did, some of my... Hello, Chloe. Hello, baby girl. Some of my winter starts didn't come up, but they were mostly herbs. So I just took the soil that was left and put it around the perimeter. And I figured, I put the little labels in, and I figured if something comes up, I'll know what it is. This is my volunteer Rose of Sharon. I don't know where it came from, because this one has beautiful double flowers, and it's purple. And it's in the perfect spot. So, the Lord planted that for me. And said, I think you need one of these. So I'm just letting that grow into more a tree than a bush. Little Lizzie loves to sit here. I have this fenced off because chipmunks go in there. I gotta do something with this. But she sits there for hours. 
and just waits for her, her little chipmunk friends. Silly puppy. So I planted two of these, the coleus and the two begonias, and I think the, the leaves of the uh, coleus just go perfectly with the um, two different colored begonias. And I have two of these, so I hope they do well. My impatience and begonias are doing fine that I planted in these planters. Sometimes I do three tiers, but um, I only did two this year since I'm cutting back. Yeah, <laughs> okay. I'll keep telling myself that. No, seriously, I am. So I have two of those, and they're doing well. Then yesterday I had bought store-bought green onions. I cut the tops off. I'll eat those. And then I stuck them in the dirt with these tomatoes, and that'll guard against some bugs. So um, I did that all around the garden. The garden is doing fantastic. I'm out of lettuce now, so I need to start harvesting spinach. And kale is back there and uh, perpetual spinach, which is charred, is right there. So everything's doing well. I planted more green onions in all the tomato pots. So that's coming along. And I planted green onions in with my peppers too. So we'll see how they grow. My strawberries are doing terrible. Nothing's happening with them. None of the pots are doing anything. My Meyer lemon is doing great. That's going to my daughter. And then I've showed you this already. These are all blood orange seeds that I um, grew. So I still need to plant these on my deck and I'll be planting the hostas in the window boxes along with um, the coleus. Bandit, what are you doing back there, buddy? Get out of there. Oh boy, he's always hunting. He, he is on the hunt all the time. So, so far my Meyer lemon tree is doing great. I put it in a bigger pot and uh, hopefully it'll get some lemons, but if not, at least it's more comfortable now in the bigger pot. I really need to harvest some lettuce, so I'll be doing that probably today or tomorrow before it bolts. I planted these dianthus in this pot and it'll live on the table. This is my mojito elephant ear and my other fuchsia, along with um, my fern. I still have to plant these flowers. These will be going somewhere on the deck, probably, or interspersed through pots. There's my other elephant ear. I forget the name of it, but it's really pretty, too. It's got the really dark leaves and the chartreuse um, veins. My patio peach is doing well. And this is another plant that my friend gave me yesterday. It's a monstera, and I just I had the pot. So that'll be going as a house plant. So these zinnias, I'm going to plant out here in some pots so the dogs can't get to them. So I've got that going on. I planted some perennials that I grew from seed in here. So we'll see how those do. They seem to be doing well. They're growing very quickly. These impatience are doing well. 
I bought these solar lights at Costco a few years ago, and uh, I really like them because they cast a tree shadow. This, these are some irises that my friend gave me. I need to plant those today. And my one clematis is doing really well. It hasn't bloomed yet, but it's going to bloom soon. It's got lots of blossoms. These are calendulas that I planted. Um, yeah, they're not looking like real super great, but we'll see. And um, I, I cannot remember the name of these. Oh well, I'll, I'll get back to it. My dill is doing great. I've got chives coming up there. So all these are doing well. My rosemary is doing fantastic. And here I have more calendula. We'll see how they do. They were dying in the pot, so I put them in here. Cannas, that's what they are. They're cannas, and these are not doing well. They don't have any any little buds coming up like the other one does. These are still all misfits that failed to launch, but they're not dead. So I just put them outside. We'll see what they do. I have plenty of everything, so it, it's fine. I still have all these tomatoes I need to do something with. If nothing else, I'll put them by the mailbox with a free sign, and people can take them. And then I still have, now these I'm going to plant because they're beefsteak. I'm going to plant one and give my daughter two. And then I have uh, pineapple sage and stevia I need to plant yet. These little impatience that I put in a different pot here are still not happy. So we'll see. One of them is looking pretty good. My nasturtium is happy. These are uh, garlic chives. I bought those as a start. The nasturtium and these perennials I planted from seed. I winter sowed. They're happy. Can't make everybody happy, right? I do my best. This is experimental. I just stuck some uh, twigs into the ground. Some of the ornamental peach. This is the same. I cut this off that um, Rose of Sharon. Stuck it in the ground. We'll see if I get a new one. And then um, part of my plum. And this grape did not make it. Um, but there was a little cutting that I just stuck in the ground, so we'll see. I have more dill over here, and my parsley is like, like beautiful. I need to cut that off and dry it too. Over here, this is going to be where my zucchini lives, and I have a ton of all these maple whirly things going on. So I need to clean all these out. And this is my humongous radish that went to seed. So it's really huge. It's like the granddaddy of all radish. So I'm letting that go, let it go to seed. And then I'm going to plant a zucchini in here too. And then I still have these winter so plants that I need to get in. These are yellow tomatoes. Coleus, I just want to let this get a little bigger. These are celery plants. Um, what is this? Oh, this is chamomile. Need to get that in a pot. It's already starting to get some flower buds. And this is marjoram. And over here, my little eggplants are not happy. This one is definitely not happy. This one I see is getting new little buds. 
So that's my front garden. My peppers are doing well. So there we go. Little tour of what I've gotten done so far. Still lots to do. All right, well, I'm sitting here in my garden while it's still quiet because it gets pretty noisy around here sometimes. Um, mowers and dogs barking and people walking and all kinds of things. So I thought while it's still quiet, I would uh, wrap up this video. So I hope you enjoyed my garden tour. Uh, my daily update on what I've gotten accomplished and uh, if you've ever wanted to garden just start small and do your thing and see what you like and start planting something even if it's just in a little pot so anyway I hope you enjoy my garden as much as I do and uh, I'm going to wrap up this video for today. And um, in the meantime, I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you. And I'll see you next time.